you know, it's the vibe as you guys kind of say farewell today. I mean, it's to be as, as expected, you know. Uh, I mean, a lot of disappointed faces in there, you know. Uh, you know, we felt like this team had what it took to, to you know, go out there and uh, make a run for it, you know. And, uh, you know, we played some good football, but just, just didn't get it done. Uh, but, um, you know, there's a lot of appreciation, you know, a lot of um, just love shared, you know. I mean, uh, you know, these, you know, the way these, these years go, you know, um, I mean, you dedicate a lot, you know, sacrifice and put a lot of time and effort into, you know, giving you your best shot, you know, but only one team gets to go home happy, you know, that's just the nature of the business. Um, you know, we don't get to be that team this year, you know. Um, I think there's some encouragement for the core of the team, you know, they get to come back, you know, next year. Um, and, uh, you know, that this, you know, the, the core of the team is in a, a really good spot to do some great things going forward. But, you know, uh, still just, you know, it's tough because you feel like, especially when you watch the tape, it's like, man, wow, you know, how do we lose that game? You know, just didn't get it done. Clay, speaking of the core of the team, have you just kind of decided what you're going to do personally with your, your career? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I don't think it would be wise to decide so quickly. You know, I think you have to go through a process, you know, and so, um, and I'm gonna give myself, you know, a few weeks and kind of go through that process and, you know, decide, um, you know, after that. But, um, you know, it is, it is definitely, uh, you know, it's gonna be hard to walk away. You know, that's for sure. So, you know, we'll see. You know, I'll talk to the, you know, to the, you know, to the front office and um, talk to the coaches. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, I mean, there's a, you know, there's a chance. You know, I could be out back here again next year. You know, it's just I gotta go through that process. Uh, your year, I mean, were you pleased personally with the year that you had? I mean, because you know, stage of your career, that's what people start thinking about, which seems like, you know, you're, you're still Calais Campbell. Do you feel that way too? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, uh, you know, there's some plays I left out there, you know, that's for sure, but I've felt that way every year. I mean, I don't think there's ever a year that you have, you know, where you leave no plays out there, so that's just football. Um, you know, but, you know, I feel like I was still able to affect the ball games, and that's important, you know. Yeah, I don't want to be a guy out here just, you know, that's not affecting the ball game, just being a guy. And so, uh, you know, that, that matters, you know, to me, you know, decide if I'm going to continue playing or not. Is I want to know, that I want to make sure that I'm going to be confident that I can go out there and be a difference maker, you know, not just being a, a guy. You know, I mean, I think it wouldn't be a justice to my career, you know, my legacy if I go out there and, and uh, you know, become less than, you know, what I've been. So, um, you know, that's something I have to, to weigh. But, you know, this year I think that I was, you know, I was on par, you know, uh, to, to the standard of excellence that I, I hold myself to. Chris, I mean, you've talked about Lamar in various forms. Is, is, it, is it your hope that he would be back here at the center of this team, you know, for either next year or for a long time to come? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I mean, you know, you, you can't let a guy like him go, you know. I mean, I know it's football and, you know, and there, there's always, you know, some new, you know, sight and toy. You know, new exciting kid. You know that has potential to go out there and be great. You know, but like, you know, this is a, a business of, of, of for shores and knowns. And uh, you know, you know, Lamar Jackson is uh, you know incredible player. You know, and I think it's in the best interest of the uh, the Ravens organization to to you know give him a long term contract and uh, you know make you know make him you know, know the, uh, our guy. So um, yeah, and I know the front office is thinking the same thing. I mean, you know. They're smart guys, you know. I mean, they build, you know, teams that are always competing for a reason, and so uh, you know, I'm sure it's gonna, you know, you know get done. But uh, you never know, though. I mean, it's you know, you gotta take it one day at a time. But you know, Lamar Jackson, you know, he's he's a stud, man. He, he deserves to be paid like it, and he deserves that opportunity to lead uh, his teams to, you know, to, to, to the, to the, you know, hopefully multiple championships. But you know, I mean, well, as long as he's on the field, you know, your team has a chance.